Hey Sag, how are you doing? This is a bonus reading for Sagittarius for the month of August, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Sag, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Sagittarius Venus. And your Venus sign is your creativity, it's your passion, it's your love, it's your money, etc. I also have three placements of Sag in my chart, so I get you guys, I feel you guys, I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And Sag, if you like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Just click on the links and check out the options. What is going on? for the fabulous and most amazing Sagittarians. What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What's coming towards you? The Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What you are focused on? The Sun, Major Arcana for Leo. The most positive card in the deck. I like it. In your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your outcome is the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is your harvest here. This is about you being patient, reflecting, taking stock. What is coming with me for the long haul? And what do I need to release and let go of? Should I start some kind of new creative outlet? Can I take a course, a class? Do I really need to carry all this with me? Because in your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Pentacles which says, do I need these things or can I donate these things? Should I hold on to this situation or is this equal give and take? Because in your blocked and challenged position, this is about sharing and caring and reciprocity. So you just have to be honest with yourself. Am I getting of what I'm giving in a situation? Or am I getting the short end of the stick? Well, you have in your focus the sun which is truth, clarity, and elimination. Happiness, joy, pleasure, optimism, success, freedom, travel, vacation. This could also be relocating and moving. And your outcome is the Eight of Cups, which is emotionally detaching and walking out the door. So see the full moon there? It's like something has come full cycle. I'm in pursuit of something more joyful, happy, in pursuit of that ninth cup. Present time, you have the five of cups. And the five of cups is loss, hurt, sadness. It can be regret, regret nothing. You could be regretting, why did I spend so much time here? Or why did I give so much in this situation? Um, why isn't this person giving back to me? Why isn't this person talking to me? The sword of two of swords is always one's the truth and one's an illusion. This is also making a tough call. Making a tough call, should I go left or should I go right? Or do I just stand still and stay stagnant? So let's see what this Five of Cups is. And the, you know, Five of Cups can also be needing to look at the positive things that are going on in your life. You know, um, having gratitude is the new attitude. And whatever needs to float by or some kind of ship has already set sailed, let it go. Let it go down the stream. It's okay. This could also be feeling like loss of support, not feeling supported at this time. And we can't force people to support us, but we can choose what is healthy for us. Like people that actually do support you versus don't support you. And it could be like loss of a job, loss of a commitment. As you can see, the phone's ringing. That's okay. So you might need to call somebody out or somebody might want to call because of their regret. And the star healing. Wow, that's such beautiful energy. Major Arcana for Aquarius. Something that you were hoping for, wishing of, dreaming of. 
was kind of disappointing. But this can also be focusing on those two cups. Remain positive. This is renewal, a healing, being optimistic, taking some kind of innovative risk. Something about a disappointment in a situation that was your dream come true or wish fulfillment could be a job, could be a relationship. And just going back, you could be beating yourself up a little bit of like, um, oh, I spent so much time on this. I spent too much time on this person. Um, why didn't they see me? Well, because that's their prerogative, right? Two of Swords can also be a two-faced individual. So somebody tells you bits and pieces of the story, but they don't fully disclose of who they are or whatever this contract is. This can also be you here, Sagittarius, of I don't want to see the truth. But here in your focus, you're like, I want the truth now. So there can also be an energy of like making a tough call. Should I go left or should I go right? Well, in your focus, you want freedom. You want happiness. You want joy. You want success. You want pleasure. Like it's all the most positive card of, you know, re-energizing your battery, being out, fun in the sun and happiness. Let's see what this, uh, and the six of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Avoid putting anybody on a pedestal at this time. See yourself as the prize. So if you've been putting somebody on a pedestal, seeing this person as the cat's meow, because this person could be wanting admiration or wanting attention. This person is an attention seeker. So again, it's like not fully disclosing a motive, but this can also be like a two-faced friend, a two-faced business partner. And the six of wands, again, it's like not talking about a situation. It's like you're avoiding a tough conversation. You don't want to have it. And six of wands is also victory, success, triumph. A praise, getting a pat on the back for a job well done, or not feeling again appreciated. Because here it's like avoid attaching yourself to um, what things should be. Because see how it's like the Five of Cups is like loss, hurt, regret, and then hopeful in a situation, something you were wishing for, dreaming of. And here it's like not seeing some kind of success here that you want. And again, just don't fix yourself or attach yourself to an outcome because every time you attach yourself to an outcome of how things should go you'll be disappointed every time and here it's like not getting some kind of appreciation or um, a raise or something but it's about you rising above the situation with the sun card healing re-energizing and focusing on connections like I said that are loyal to you sunflowers speak of Vitality and joy, which equals success. So let's see what this sun card is. And the moon. Wow, that's a tough combo. That's a tough combination. It's because what's been hidden in the dark is coming to light. Whether this is your expression of truth, of some kind of collaboration here. Because right here in the blocked and challenged position is the six of pentacles where it's like you're not seeing another side of the situation correctly or a person. Death card. Death card is about change, transition, and a transformation that you're going through and coming out as you want freedom. This is also an energy of anxiety, worry, stress, frustration, or deep hidden feelings. This could also be deep hidden feelings coming out that you have been avoiding of communicating. So if you have not conversated with another person of your disappointments, then you know this can also be somebody, again, who you've put on a pedestal. Take this person off the pedestal. And here, the moon card is the uncertainty. But what if I do set myself free and let this situation go? What if... Um, what if something better doesn't come along? But what if it does? This is the comfort zone. So staying in the comfort zone is only going to 
repeat a cycle over and over and over again. And outside your comfort zone, walking the journey of the unknown frees up your energy and everything you want, dream of, and desire is waiting for you. But will you go through the change? King of Swords. King of Swords can also be an energy of the truth. A truth that changes your direction. But see how the Sun card is in the background there? So some kind of truth here with a collaboration or something about work. Something about your work is changing. But it feels like an energy of either deceptive behavior or um, subconscious. So it's like consciously running or unconsciously just going through the day, right? Running on autopilot. But it's asking you to free yourself from some kind of uncertainty and walk the journey of the unknown. The comfort zone here is looking like something that is raining, right? And some kind of information, somebody tells you bits and pieces of the story, but they're not fully di disclosing the information, but you're going to find it out. Could be coming from a Scorpio or a King of Swords. King of Swords can be somebody who is um, emotionally unavailable or emotionally withdrawn. Can also be somebody like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney, like legal papers. So if you're signing anything, just read the fine print here. Like take your time, be practical about it. Yeah, and see, it's still like walking away here. So you're still walking away from some kind of an, a commitment. And here, in your blocked and challenged position is sharing and caring. Is this fair, equal give and take? But it's being blocked from you. So it's like, like I was saying, it's like you've been doing it for so long, unconsciously of giving, but the other side is not reciprocating. So it's almost like the other person is either not putting into the situation or this person feels entitled. Could be dealing with a, a Leo. So let's see what this, um... also in your blocked and challenged position, you're hanging on to things. This could be like needing to clean out your cupboards, needing to clean out your closets. And if this has something to move and relocate, you don't want to carry all that junk with you. And I'm not saying it's junk. If you haven't used it in the last year, you know, donate it. So let's see what this Six of Pentacles is. And this could be like some kind of contract here, like a work situation. And the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Ace of Pentacles is about a windfall, something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it, a gift from the divine. New house, new job, new commitment, new career path. So in your blocked and challenged position is like receiving some kind of finances or a down payment on a home, a new job situation, but it's in your blocked and challenged position. You can't even see it because you're still focused on the same routine but you just have to ask is it working because here it's like everybody wants the truth but nobody actually wants to be honest because it's a fear coming from what if I do get out of this job what if I um the fear of what if I do get out of this commitment oh I've spent so much time on this career path yeah but it's not going anywhere it's keeping you stuck and you're not seeing the results you want three of wands Three of Wands is about waiting, but this is about planning. And you, plane, train, automobile, travel. This is something coming in out of the blue. Something coming to light out of the blue or in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams that you are having. It's intuition. But this Ace of Pentacles feels like somebody more money hungry in one situation. So this energy wants to take all the six uh, pentacles and the opportunity. There could also be, if this has something to do with job and career, you're going for the same position. 
Um, what you're not realizing is that there's another person here going for it as well. Or if this is like a home, like wanting to sell a home. Three of Wands and Hangman. Yeah, something is stagnating your growth or you feel a little bit stuck in limbo. You don't know where you stand with this person. We'll have a conversation with them because Moon card is not talking. It's just observing. And with the Eight of Cups here in your outcome, this is about cutting cords. Death card, change, transition, and transformation, which brings you in the sun, a lot of happiness. So you have two moons here, which we have, um, is it two Capricorn full moons in this period plus a Mercury retrograde? So there could also be somebody who wants your attention and it's telling you to avoid this person or maybe you're ignoring this person because you know this person just wants validation and approval that they're good enough. And if this is you, you want validation and approval from a person, you don't need it. You're good enough. Sun card. Believe it. This is also believe what you see sometimes. Or needing to ask more questions. And the three of cups. Wow. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. This could be walking away from some kind of friendship. Because the three of cups is about good news worth celebrating, happiness, joy, pleasure, going to see a friend, a family member, a love interest, playing, letting loose. So here, this could be like if a, an invitation comes in out of the blue for fun in the sun, I feel like you should go. This is not a person who slaughtered your heart and left you for dead and left you in the dark. I'm talking about like somebody who is actually a good time. This is also an energy of you don't know that there might be a need for you to walk away from any kind of third party situations. There's too many cooks in the kitchen and for you to let this go. Yeah, no, you need to put yourself on a pedestal. So something about like third party interference, whether this is like you, your coworker and your boss and you know, your friend or your coworker wants this position as well. So avoid communication with that person because the two of swords can be dealing with an energy who is telling you one thing and doing another. This is like detaching from third party. Whatever that third party is for you. Sisters of the season, cycles of growth natural law, divine order. And here you have dodged a bullet. Trust that. So 17 and 17, it's like cycles of growth. You're going through a growth spurt. That's if you allow it to happen. And see the situation. Oh no, I just love my job. My job is just so great. Oh no, I just love this person. This person is just so great. Yeah, because this person's on the pedestal and you're doing all the work. But when, in your blocked and challenged position, you have an ace of pentacles, which is a huge financial opportunity where there possibly is reciprocity and equal give and take. But will you set yourself free from some kind of third party here? Or maybe you're not aware that there's a third party. Well... The Well Watcher, Wisdom, Power of the Divine, Divine Wisdom, Divine Power. And it's about you here. Is there another seven here? No. So with all the cards on the table, there is no synchronicities right here. So about getting off track. So needing to get back on track by focusing on Sagittarius, the well weaver. And it says synchronicities, divine intelligence, and cause and effect. So if I take action towards this situation that I already know of, how is that going to cause an effect? Is it going to be a positive or a negative? But if I change tracks and walk away from some kind of third party, interference or 
somebody who is um, either you've put on a pedestal or this person wants your validation and approval all the time. Am I good enough? Am I good enough? Sagittarius, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Sagittarius, you know, it gets old. That just shows uh, insecurities, right? So like you're going to see something that you didn't see before. The Phoenix. This is the Phoenix rising from the ashes, meaning let go, hit rock bottom, whatever in a situation. It doesn't mean that you won't come back. You're going to bounce back, but more wiser and more stronger. Resurrection, surrender to change. So here, the sun, that fire, you got the fire in your belly, and the horse king. This is, to me, the king of wands, which is bold, brave, assertive, taking action, and taking back power and control in your own life, and not gender specific, but the horse king could just be like, you're the powerful one. It's about you making the call of what I'm going to be doing here. No, this isn't working for me. Can't have your cake and eat it too. No, this third party doesn't work for me. I'm not getting the short end of the stick. Sorry, bye. Like, you know, and you're not communicating that. Whale, great worry over nothing. Yeah, and so like if you want to free yourself from this energy or if you, you know, needing to walk away from a job situation, you can do so. And it's going to make you ultimately happy. Beetle, good fortune. Fortune favors the brave. Apple, temptation will test you. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. This person might show up. And the Six of Wands is really flashy, but it is also a card of jealousy. So somebody making you jealous or somebody trying to, you know, wanting to heal a situation, like hopeful and wishful for a situation to change, but it, it you have to see this situation for what it is, not what it was. And again, we're in a Mercury retrograde. So temptation will test you. And this could also be like, come on in, third party, no. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And for some of you, just some of you, maybe one or two of you, it's you're running on autopilot. It means you're doing the same thing day in and day out and not vocalizing that this isn't working for me or you're not being honest with yourself as that you are putting somebody on a pedestal. But it says temptation will test you. Don't bite the apple. So have no worry. And for some of you, this is another person where they're indecisive about you and they're allowing their life to ramble aimlessly. Is this kind of partnership that you want to partner up with? No, you don't want a project, you want a partner. And it says crib, birth or conception of a child and or enterprise. It's right here, this Ace of Pentacles, it's a huge opportunity, but you still have to set your free from some kind of comfort zone or some kind of job situation, um, a living, whatever it is. It's the walking the journey of the unknown where there is equal give and take and reciprocity. And Sagittarius is a very giving sign, but sometimes you overgive or overshare and people take that for granted. And it says Eagle, triumph over troubles and ob obstacles. Eagles soar alone, pigeons flock together. And you have the Phoenix. It says um, resurrection, surrender to change this doesn't say grip and hold on to what you have or temptation will test you dagger fear worries intense situation and then it says heartache over what you no longer have yeah you know people come into our life for a reason season and or a lifetime once we learn that lesson and we understand the lesson that we needed to learn we can walk the journey and be, carry that knowledge and wisdom with us for, you know, your next opportunity. And then it says bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. How do you cross the bridge? By letting go of whatever no longer, or heartache, whatever no, you no longer have, cross the bridge. And it says older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. So you could be walking towards 
an older woman, but then it says pale, time to get out of a situation. So, you know, this could be something to do with finances if there has been somebody who has crossed over or it has something to do with like um, the bank, something to do with like banking, like somebody owes you money or like, you know, there's something there. Um, yeah, like fighting in uh, like siblings or something. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you, Sagittarius. Like, share, subscribe. And again, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can in the description box below. Just hit the link and it will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.